Hey everybody, it's Daryl back again. Just want to do a little quick little video. The videos that's coming up next are going to be some we shot in late August. So uh, just consider that in the time frame. I seen a comment today that I hadn't had a chance to reply to. Saying it was too late in the season to uh, add a uh, hive body to that uh, hive. But you got to take into consideration that it was done in August. So, but uh, I seen a couple other comments that hadn't seen me for, more, for a while. But... We, uh, one of my buddies that I've had since Wyatt died, he, me and Ross Peterson become friends uh, during Wyatt being sick and all that other stuff. He was 43 years old and less than a month ago, dropped dead. He had some kind of uh, brain aneurysm type stroke type thing and his wife found him dead on the floor at his house at, uh, five o'clock in the morning uh losing him about like losing a brother so i'm tired of my friends and family uh dying so the past couple of years has not been good to us but uh hopefully we're gonna turn the corner and everything's gonna be looking good it's the bad thing about getting older every day he lives the day closer to shaking out so uh if you got loved ones tell them you love them you've got family that you've kind of distanced from try to rekindle that uh because you never know when it's going to be your time to go or when it's going to be their time to go and once one of you's gone that's it there's no coming back from that but uh that's about it i've had a couple hives die out uh not sure what happened to them i got to run through them and check them the weather here's been kind of cool i mowed the garden the other day I'm gonna uh, till it up and uh, put landscape fabric down. Now the fabric we're gonna be putting down is uh, the professional grade stuff I get from a, a garden supply place. It's got like a 25 year warranty on it. I'm getting it in four foot wide. I think it comes in 300 foot rolls. So I'm gonna get a couple of those rolls. We're gonna put in uh, drip tape and all that good stuff. And it's gonna be one of them things where we put it down in the spring. We're gonna burn the holes in it for we're going to do one row of strawberries. I put some strawberries in one of these raised beds over here and they went freaking crazy. We got strawberries just on top of strawberries. So I'm going to try to get that done sometime this coming week and uh, build like a little hive tunnel to put over them to keep the uh, frost from killing them. And maybe they'll beast it next year because we got a little guy running around here that loves some strawberries. So, matter of fact, can you say hey? Hi. Uh, so we're going to try to do that and then we'll every fall and winter we'll take that landscape fabric up and that way we'll be able to rotate our crops and all that good I'm stuff show me bee hat as you can tell he's wore that a whole lot whose hat's that <laughs> is, is that your hat yeah yeah so that's the plan for the garden i got to get all this other stuff cleaned up uh i've been in a little oh, funk here lately bad. but uh we're trying to get out of it. We're supposed to, I got a doctor's appointment in the morning and we're going to go surf fishing tomorrow and hopefully catch some fish. I know they were catching them at Surf City Pier today. Uh, you can actually go on their website and actually see the people fishing on the thing. If y'all are out in the Midwest or West Coast or whatever, you can go, I think it's Surf City Pier or something like that and you can actually see the people fishing there. They're wall to wall uh, when the uh, spots are biting. So we're going to try to run down there tomorrow. And uh, catch some spot. Uh, the picture that I put up, uh, a lot of y'all guessed right. That's uh, for fishing catfish jugs. If y'all want to do see a video on that, I can make one. Uh, they're pretty cool. Those are actually adjustable. You can fish them in yeah. one foot of water, or I got them up to 15 feet. Because at Lake Tillery, where we normally fish at, the deepest we normally try to throw jugs is about 15 feet. We did that a couple weekends ago for some veterans that we took out fishing. We had about 15, 15 or 16 that we took out on three different boats. And we ended up doing that before the day was over with. And every one of them had a friggin' ball. They were like, we're going to buy a kayak and make up some of these jugs right here. And we're going to start doing that because they had so much fun. But uh, I think that's about it for the video. Just want to explain to why we were distanced for a little bit. And I might throw up a picture of Ross. Uh just keep his family in his prayers. The bad thing about it is, he's got a little girl, I think she's six, five or six, and a little boy that's three. 
So he would have had, White would have been around a little bit younger than his daughter. And then uh, his youngest is a little bit younger than Waylon is. So keep them in his prayers. Like I said, it was a just here today, going tomorrow type thing. No issues. I think he might have had a little bit of blood pressure issues. But other than that, I mean, here today, going tomorrow. So hug your people tight. Tell your kids you love them. Get up with your parents. If you got some kinfolk, get up with them too. Life's too short to, you know, have bad blood between anybody. So, hope y'all doing good. We might do a little video tomorrow, show you a surf fishing or something like that. But, uh, like I said, if y'all want to see how to make those jugs, just leave a comment below. And uh, I'll do a video just on that. Hope y'all doing good. And as always, we'll see y'all on the next one. One more thing I forgot to mention before we close the video out again. Uh, when they ever pick the beans, I don't know if y'all can tell it because it's so dark. These right here are soybeans. Uh, these are starting to turn yellow. When the leaves fall off of them, they'll pick them. And uh, then they'll diss everything up. State bird. Uh, I'm waiting. We got another property down here. And we're going to put up a fence, high tensile wire. We're going to get some cows. And we're going to start like a little, I wouldn't call it a homestead, like a farmstead type thing. And uh, I'm going to do some videos on all that. If I think about it, I'll throw in some some aerial stuff. Throw in some aerial stuff that I shot with a drone that my, one of my buddies let me borrow the other day. So that's some of the stuff that's in the works. That'll be some stuff that we can do some content on this uh, winter when we can't do much with the bees. So if y'all interested in doing stuff like that, high tensile wire, we're going to build a pole barn and all that good stuff out of some trusses we're getting out from uh, uh, turkey houses they shut down. So... Buy your kids a lid for your five gallon buggies. They'll play with them. But anyway, hope y'all doing good. And we'll see y'all on the next one.